Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode number two of the Barcelona Career Month. So last episode we played our first La Liga game which we won 3-0 over Blue Pal and we won the preseason tournament making good work of that league. I mean tournament. Um we signed a lot of players, including Luis Felipe, Maxi Gomez, Serge Gnabry, and I believe that's it. Um, and in this episode, we're going to continue signing players. Um, I also created a team number two, like our second team. So when we play like um, Copa de España and stuff... Our squad gets rest, so I'm gonna build that right now. Fati, um, Neto for now, but then he won't be there for long because I'm planning. I'm getting, I'm getting rid of him. I'm probably gonna use a swap to get another keeper that I know of. Um, and then like Firpo, Elena. Hmm, Ricky Puy. Gomez, even Messi gets some rest, Nabri, and this is basically a few players are still playing. I need some improvements. My back line is staying the same, except Firpo, and then I'm going to also give Busquets a chance. This is a chance for some older players. Oh no, what am I doing? Um, Players like, what else have I do we have in midfield like players like Mateus Pereira could be in there you know what I'm actually gonna keep thing in there Arthur he we need some energy and he brings that to the squad um that's the second team lineup save this this is the second team lineup completely it's mostly rested players for now, it's this, and then that's my first team. But for now, let's get spending. We have 263 million to work with. I'm saving some in the piggy bank for January. First, a right back is one of my priorities. And I thought of this one. And he is like insanely young. He's like 22, I believe. And she has a release clause. Oh, we can activate for only 34 million. He's 23, by the way. Benjamin Pavar. And he can also play as a center back in case anybody gets injured in our back line. So we're going to activate the 34.5 million pound release clause. And let's get negotiating a contract with him. And then this episode, I'm also going to sign a backup keeper, a rotation. Yeah, that's a fair offer for me three-year contract um I want him here for a while so I'm gonna tie him down to a four-year deal I want to at least see if I can somehow get an 80 million pound contract who is closing that contract even though I'm not a big fan okay if he doesn't want that then I'll deny it how much does he want a week hmm a lot for him 70k a week with the signing on bonus of 260,000 and for appearances we'll give him five appearances with a bonus of 1 million I believe would be good <laughs> actually edit the wage I don't know let's just give him 70k plus 260 okay he wants a wage of 80k with a signing on bonus of 720,000 and a 530,000 bonus after five clean sheets. Okay, let's just remove the bonus. Let's see what he says. And it's not quite what he's hoping for, but he is willing to join our club. And now we have signed the fourth player in this transfer window. Um, Benjamin Pavard, he's 80 rated, which is really good. He's going to provide some good competition. Oh, what am I doing simulating? Let's take a look at him in, in a Barca jersey. Benjamin Pavard, there he is. Um, I don't think I would have showed him anyways. He actually goes in the bench. 
because he's not a first team starter. He's reuniting here with. I don't take. They'll take Fairpo off. These kids are actually. We need a backup left back, so Elena can sacrifice. And then we are gonna for now get the goal. I want to scout the goalkeeper that I want, and he goes by the name of. I don't know how to print. It's not a Thomas Tricosa is the player that I want. Oh, we don't need to scout him. If he, we don't need scouting for him. And let's get into signing. He'll provide some good and necessary competition for Ter Stegen. He'll probably be our last signing of the window. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Neto, so I'm gonna use him in the exchange deal. They want 26 million. I can easily work with that. We still have a ton left in the budget. What am I doing? Let's go and negotiate with him. He's going to be an in and out rotation player. Rotation. Obviously, you're coming to a big club. Okay, he's happy with that. I'm so glad he is. Five-year contract. He's really young, which is a huge difference. He is one less rating than... Um, Neto, but we can change that. I'm going to offer him a contract of 60k and a bonus of 120,000. And for the bon appearances, I'll give him five for. Th I'll give him 600, 500,000 for five appearances. Oh my god, what have I done? I've messed this up. We're coming back in for Shikosa if we have a chance. We messed this up big time. I, I should have offered him so much more in wages. should have offered him like 80k a week. We're coming back in for Stracosa though. He's my number one target. And any other positions that I'm looking to upgrade? Not really. Probably just that. And then let's get into playing our second La Liga game of the season against Betis. We might be able to go back in before the game. I'll check on it, but I don't think so. Oh, let's get training. I forgot to train. Load the previous screen. Young talents, yes. I might just replace him with Pavard just because he's a little younger. One like this is fine. Simulate all. And that's what you like to see. Elena is doing well. Pavard's even doing really well. Vati's doing very well. Let's see. We're probably not going to be allowed to go back in right now for Shikosa. I don't think so. Yeah, we need to wait a little longer. But let's keep our focus on La Liga. Don't know if we'll wrap up deadline day. We probably will finish the transfer window in this episode. At home against Batiste, I'm going to play it. I'm going to stick with the same starting 11 that we did against. You know, actually, I was very impressed by Ricky Puyo's performance. So, I, he was so energetic. I want to put him on the bench. I'm going to put him in the lineup over Arthur. And I think that will be good. I think he'll bring so much energy. Him and De Jong linked up brilliantly. And, yeah. Let's practice a little drill before we get into the game, I guess. Betis is not an easy side by no means, by any meanings. There is Mark Barcha, a former Barca player. I was possibly thinking about bringing him in, but I looked at his age, and I don't want too big of an aging squad, so I decided not to go with him and go for Luis Felipe instead. But here we go, at home against Betis, Messi. Messi gets past Alex Moreno and Christian Teo. Still Messi. Wow, Messi is dribbling through everybody. But then Alex Moreno gets back and covers. Um, here so is Luis Felipe, Ricky Pui. Hey, that should be a red card. No card at all? That's harsh. Usually when I tackle from behind, it's always a red card. Now, Ricky Pui. 
Frankie De Jong, but could not get that pass through Alex Moreno, who's such a young talent. Um, now here is Luis Felipe, Frankie De Jong, Busquets, over the top to Jordi Alba, who is in behind the defense, gets past Torore. Ricky Puy gets another goal. This youngster is just amazing. And nine minutes in, we lead against Batiste. Ricky Puy. I'm super impressed by this. He easily got the ball past Joel Robles. Just a simple touch. Suarez jumps over and no chance for Joel Robles. And Ricky Puy gets his second goal in La Liga this season. And we are up 1-0. That's the important thing. But his development is actually going super well. If he somehow area, keeps clear, scoring goals, I'm going to give him a spot in the starting 11. He's, he's energetic in attack. Look at it. Look at him in, in his games against Bilbao, Celta Vigo, and of course it's showing Mark Botcher playing against his former club. Now Nelson Semedo gets this possessed. Now here come Batiste. Busquets is on Christian Teo. The cross is in Guido Rodriguez. Joaquin, great save there from Ter Stegen. Good reaction from the German. Now Joaquin, the living legend, 38 years old with the corner. Cleared by Lengley, poor clearance. Straight to Mondi and then cleared away. Now Luis Suarez. I'm waiting for that Messi run. Come on, Messi. We need. Why is Messi here? I need the Alba run. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to find that with. Now Borja. Busquets. Dispossessed by Fekir. Lengle. Ricky Puy. Gets it to Griezmann. Mes Suarez. Messi now. Frankie De Jong. The cross is in. Griezmann with the header. What a save by Joe Robles. And still Antoine Griezmann. What a brilliant save there from the 29 year old. Now Guido Rodriguez. Joaquin. Naval Fakir. Alba is chasing him down. Slides in, but Fakir gets ahead of him. Joaquin. Brilliantly defended by Langley. Ricky Puy. The ball upfield to Luis Suarez. The heavy pass all the way over to Messi. Messi. The shot. What a save by Joel Robles. What a save. Corners in. I went for Suarez there, but it's cleared away by Batiste. And I'm going for Frankie De Jong. Antoine Gries. No, I don't think Griezmann got there. Brilliant defending again by Batiste. I'm going to play this one short. Griezmann. To make sure Messi's onside. If I could pass it back. I knew he was offside. I didn't know he was offside, but it looked like he was. Now Busquets. Carvalho. Teo, Alex Moreno, William Carvalho, gets past Ricky Puy, Christian Teo, Borja, now Ricky Puy, Messi, still Messi, I see Griezmann at the back post, I'm gonna pass it. Oh, I needed a little bit of a heavier pass. Now here is Luis Felipe, Mes Semedo, <laughs> Suarez. Messi goes for the shot, blocked there by Batista's defense. Now Christian Teo cannot keep that in. Ricky Puy with the throw in. Semedo, Messi, Suarez. But Joel Robles. Putting every ounce of energy into this, and I'm not sure whether they'll be able to sustain it in the second half. That long kick is cleared by Luis Felipe. The straight to Borja Iglesias. 
Christian and Teo in a foot race with Sumedo, but Sumedo wins. Sumedo, Busquets, Messi. Now Messi. Suarez. Over the top to Antoine Griezmann. Was he offside? offside? I don't know, but that was pretty yeah, damn he's close. Right there. Just went a fraction early. Yeah, he's off. His left foot, I believe, is off. Now, Isamandi with the kick Fekir. to Borja. Carvalho. Guido. Fekir. Carvalho. Fekir. Gets past a few. Ricky Puig with the tackle. Plays advantage, but then comes back. That should be a yellow card for the youngster, and it is. Okay, now here is Messi. <clears throat> Ricky Puy, Carvalho, Teo, Borja. Oh no, open at the back post. How did Betis miss that chance? Joaquin, the living legend. He missed that, he had an open. Not open, but he, he could have really tested Ter Stegen. Now Jordi Alba. Lengway. Last half time at one nil. Now any changes? I wanna see I wanna do one thing right now. I want an attacking run from Semedo. And same for Jordi Alba. Um, if, if he doesn't make those better runs, I'm going to bring on Pavar. But right now, I'm very keen to see how Fati does. He did brilliantly in the last episode. He was pacey. So I'm bringing him on for Antoine Griezmann, who is not well, impressing is me right now. Now. And it's now, here is Guido Rodriguez. On to Fati. Gets that away oh, from Terore after the... Kick he did was straight at Ansu. Now Terore. I don't know which Terore that is. Naval Fekier. Joaquin. Terore. Now Borja Iglesias gets past Luis Felipe. But Frankie De Jong is back to cover on Joaquin. Luis Suarez. Messi. Um, now here is Naval Fekir. Whoa, Naval Fekir gets past my full defense except Jordi Alba. Now Ricky Puy gets dispossessed. Guido Rodriguez. Um, good work there. Dispossessing Betis. Now Suarez. Hey, where's the foul? That, that seemed like a foul to me. Um, now Christian Teo. Luis Felipe well, comes across to defend Teo. The cross is in. Team. Alba clears at the back post. The clearance took a deflection off Joaquin. Ter Stegen clears it. Oh, what a poor pass by Alba. Ter Stegen makes a great save to deny Borja Iglesias and Betis getting back in this game. Fully stretched there. Now the corner. Joaquin will take it. Christian Teo comes off for Alfonso Pedraza. The corner. The volley, I think, is. Like, the volley is by, I believe, Alfonso Pedraza. His first touch of the game. Now, Ansu Fati. Great vision to spot Messi. Turns. Still Messi. Messi goes the with the cross. The Suarez just the can't get there. The An easy piece of Luis Felipe clears. Lenglet. Frankie De Jong. Luis Suarez. Fati. Wow. Troy really pressured him. Throw in Jordi Alba. Onto Fati. Onto Fati goes for the finance block. Ricky Puy again. Ricky Puy gets his fourth La Liga goal of the season to make it 4 0. At this rate, he could win the Golden Boot. Brilliant work there by Onsu to cut inside. That finance I felt like would have gone in. Um, and then Ricky Puy was right there. So once again, takes a score. Once again, Takes a brilliant touch, 
and then just taps it in. No chance for Joe Robles. Oh, no, three goals. Mine mistake. Um, we are up 2-0. Ricky Pui gets his third. Now Guido. Naval here. Joaquin. Lang. I mean, Joaquin. The cross is in. Good clearance there from Luis Lee. Okay, but straight to Borja. Oh my. Wait, what? That's a penalty? No way. Luis Felipe tried to get it away from Borja Iglesias. What have I done? No, I'm not taking off Ricky Pui. He's been brilliant. So look, Borja took the shot. I went for the ball. It's a penalty. And that shot hit the post, by the way. Naval Fakir is coming off for Sergio Canales. See, can Ter Stegen save a penalty? Borja Iglesias, I'm going to go left. Oh, it's off the post. Pedrosa, brilliant save from Ter Stegen. And Betis are denied a way back. One goal back. Now on to Fati. Brilliant run from the young teenager. On to Fati with the shot. Save. Oh, that is an... Oh, wait, what? That crossed the line. That had crossed the line. Oh my gosh, no way that didn't cross the line. That had to be a, a goal that literally crossed the line. What on earth happened there? Now, Borja Iglesias, Joaquin, crosses in, good clearance there. B bicycle kick, oh my god. Oh, Guido was offside. Guido was offside. Okay, I'm going to bring on Pavard for the last few minutes for his debut. Um, Pavard, and I'm also gonna bring on Maxi Gomez. So I'm gonna make a double switch. Watch the replay. The cross is in. Borja hit it with the bicycle, and Guido is off by like a little hair. Now here's Ter Stegen, Langlait, Busquets, Ricky. <clears throat> now, um,. William Carvalho, Canales, Carvalho, Luis Felipe, Messi, Ricky Puy. Imagine if he gets a hat trick. Borja, Alex Moreno, Guido Rodriguez, Canales, saved by Ter Stegen. Now Joaquin, who I believe is offside. Yep, that's correct. Our subs have came on. To see what Benjamin Pavard can do on that side. Guess the number four. It seemed like the right fits me. It's 82 minutes played now. Turns. Maxi Gomez. To, up to Messi. 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 Goes for the finance. But good block there by Bartra. This Batiste defense is really keeping Messi locked up. They're not letting him get ahead of him. They're not letting him embarrass him, do some rainbows or something. Now Messi, Perrasa. Messi's now back to defend. Borja. Busquets. Maxi. Messi. So Messi magic time, maybe? Now Messi, still Messi, gets inside. Okay, defended well by Batiste, and we are gonna get the three points here. Now Guido Rodriguez, Luis Felipe, who's on a yellow, Busquets, Maxi, Frankie, Busquets, but I believe Frankie was offside by a little bit. Oh, no, that wasn't that. He was pretty. He was decently offside, and as the referee is about to blow the whistle, and yes, we get the 2-0 win, Ricky Puy gets us the two goals, but I don't see that, they sh I think they might show that on the replays, but that had to be somewhere, no goal, look at this, literally, this has to be a goal somehow, that's, that's over the line! That's way over the line. Hold on. I'll show you guys right now that it's over the line. Hold on. Trust me, I'm telling you, that should have been a goal for Fati. 
literally look at this that's way over the line hold on is it though I think it is I think that's well over the line yeah that's the I think that should be in that's a disgrace disgrace I'm gonna go back in for Shakosa. I hope he's available. Go back in for Shakosa. Oh, training. Hopefully he's available. He's back available. Hmm. Let's use Neto in this deal because I don't want him. We're gonna want a decent amount, 26.7 million for a player who is, what is he like, six years I think younger than him, I believe. <clears throat> now, rotation. I'm obviously gonna offer him a bigger contract than I did last time. Five year contract. Oh, well, we have so much in wages. I'm going to offer him at least 80k a week so he joins. I'm going to offer him like a 230,000 bonus. And he wants 105. Okay, I really just... How much, no, there's no point. I'll just give him the bonus. Any appearance bonus? And yes, Dracosa is now in the club. There he is. The Albanian... I guess is his country breaking news there he is that's probably gonna be the last piece of business I do and he's probably going in the second team yeah I'm probably also gonna put Pavard in the second team that's I'm probably gonna do a little rest here because also soon is not the biggest game so I'm gonna rest most of the squad for this game I'm gonna let Tricosa have his debut same for Pavar. Load the previous screen, let's get training. And nice work. Mostly people are getting A's. Fati's not doing so well. Pavar's doing okay. Now let's get going to deadline day. Loan offer for Abe. I need I don't want to run in here. Um and also Chumi, I'd also want out on loan. Abe would be brilliant out on loan. We don't need him. He'll develop well. Abe has been loaned out. We're going to play against also... Have I selected the second team for this game? Yes, I have. Oh, no, I'm not simulating this match. Okay, now we are going to play against Osasuna at Ivy Lane with the second team. Here we go. Ricky Puig once again gets the start. He was just a phenomenal in that game against Batiste. Now here is, we're just practicing a drill. Also soon are not the hardest side in the world. That's why I played my second team. Give my team a little luster. They had two tough games against Bilbao and Betis. Now also soon to kick off. Enrique Gallego, oh yeah. Esquile Avila, I call him Chimi Avila for short. I think that's what everybody calls him. Ruben Garcia, who is offside. Luis Felipe, Ricky Puig, Artur, Nabri, Artur, Maxi, Arthur, Nabri. Arthur again, Maxi Gomez nearly got there but defended well by Osasuna. Poor clearance there by Lengley. Now Enrique Gallego, Stracosa is making his debut, that is right. Enrique Gallego against Lengley, gets past Lengley, gives it to Monchielo, defended well by Lengley. Now Ansu Fati, the teenager. 
who is excellent in FIFA. So much potential. Uh oh, now Ruben Garcia. The cross is in. Blasis. But cleared by, I believe, Firpo. Now Ricky Pui. Navri. Ricky Pui. Maxi. Elena. Fati. That's a wonderful tackle. Um. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Now Oyer. Trying to find an opening on this cap. Oyer. Enrique Gallego. Junior Firpo. Ricky Pui. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Fer Fernando Callejo, I believe that is. Gallego. Gallego with the shot straight at Chacosa. Elena. Nabri. Maxi. Over the top to Fati. Elena. Maxi Gomez. I'll call him Maxi for short. Sometimes now Artur. Estupidion is surrounding him like crazy. Pavar. Ricky. Young Ricky. Gives it to his La Masia teammate, Fati. Well, Fati's technically not playing for La Masia anymore, but Pui still is. Wait, that's not a goal. That's not a corner? I think that's a corner. Whatever. Now, Langley defends that, but Gallego. Now, against Luis Felipe. Luis Felipe stands tall. Maxi Gomez. Chimi Avila. Monchiello. Luis Felipe. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why the first two videos of this crema are extra long, it's because we're doing transfer business, and transfer business just makes it a little longer. But for regular episodes, like without transfer windows, they're going to be much shorter because they're only games. Now Pavar. Now Artur. Maxi Gomez. Fati. Ricky. I mean, Elena. Firpo. Oh, it's offside. It was offside. Well, you expect to get the benefit there, but he didn't. Um, this will be the final game of the episode, and then we'll wrap up the transfer window. Probably all the business we're doing, we did quite a bit. We didn't. We signed like five or six players place, in this really. window. We didn't. We still have a ton left for January. That's why I'm saving up. I'm planning in January. I'm gonna check. And how Griezmann's doing come January. I don't know if he'll be good. He'll come good. Because he hasn't impressed me so far when I'm playing with him. So I'm going to check in January. And I'm going to look to a possible transfers of two players. One, obviously Neymar. That's a kind of an obvious choice. Or Mikel Zabal, I believe. Oh no! That's... Also, soon we're in, and a brilliant save by Chikosa. Firpo, Elena, Fati, Elena, Maxi, Maxi Gomez, up to Nabri, chip over the top to Gomez, Elena, gets the ball back, now Fati, shot blocked, still Fati, the cross is in. He's took a deflection and Herrera catches that. Um, Ricky Pui, Serge Nabri, Maxi Gomez, Maxi, now Oyer, Estupitian. <laughs> That's a funny name. Half time, and I'm going to bring on some of the better players that we have because we have struggled to create the players like Messi. Messi, I feel like, you know, I feel like Suarez needs to come on. Suarez, I feel like, will come on and he'll help us get that next level. Now, here is our tour. Still, our tour. Cannot get past this stupid now. Maxi's coming off. 
He got the ball, but he just didn't get it inside the box well. The rest have done okay. Ricky Pui. Nabri. Luis Suarez. What? This also seems like a team is playing dirty. Now, La Blasis. Firpo defends well. Firpo. We've got for you on EA Sports presentation. Junior Firpo. It's Osasuna. They'll be facing Carlos Salenia with the shot. What a save from Sergio Herrera. Artur. Benjamin Pavar with the cross. Suarez cannot get there. Fati with the header. Junior Firpo. But onto Fati was offside, anyways. Now here is. Nacho Vidal, Nacho Vidal, Le Blasis, Gallego, Le Blasis, punched away by Strakosa, Nabri, Ricky Puy, Ricky Puy, now Ricky Puy, Nabri, young Ricky, crosses in, a oh, brilliant deflection by Elsa Sunaros, that would have gone in 100%, we had two men in the box, Ruben Garcia now, LA Nyan is really chasing him down, he's using a lot of stamina to chase him down, Pavar, Avila, Suarez, now Munkiel, Gallejo, Firpo, Artur, Suarez, gives it to Nabri, Nabri, now Ruben Garcia, this is getting tough, this game is getting really difficult, and now Chimmy Avila is in, I'm trying to get Firpo back, Oh my god, we have fallen behind against Osasuna. Now this is time, we need a double switch. We need to bring on Messi. And we for sure need to bring on De Jong. Take out Elenia. We need that midfield three. We need that double switch. We're falling behind against Osasuna. We be Blue Bell, we be Betis. And now all against all teams, we're falling behind against Osasuna? What? Like, what the hell? Suarez. Messi. Artur. Oh, that, look at how quickly we connected there. Messi, look, the quality that he brings is just amazing. Now, Le Blasis. Monkeyo, looking to use the Pavar, the pitch in this attack. Luis Felipe well does well there. Foul. That should be a yellow card, I believe. We have to hurry up and to try to turn the game around. Pavar, Messi, Artur, Suarez, Messi, Fati, Frankie De Jong, Messi. Suarez with the goal. Let's go. What a connection. Now, Luis Suarez gives us some hope to try to win the game and get all three points here. But we brought on our superstars and they're connecting brilliantly. Suarez just barely gets that past Sergio Herrera. Just barely by like a narrow air. Like a little teeny thingy. Both sides have scored here now. Just over quarter of an hour left. Now here My is Callejo. Let's try to turn the game around. Oh Suarez gets the ball Going from Callejo. Well. Suarez is in now here. Defended well. Defenders done well hit. Lang late to Arthur. Luis Felipe. Ricky Puy. Frankie Dion. Break maybe from Barcelona. Luis Suarez. Messi, oh, he was offside. Look at how much quicker our play is with these players on. Luis Felipe clears it. Playing late. Frankie De Jong gives it straight to Mark Cardona. Former Barcelona La Masia player. 
Ruben Garcia, Perez, brilliant defending there by Leslie. Okay, now we have to defend this well. Oyer with the corner. Good block there by Suarez. Now Messi, let's take this upfield. Let the magic man, medicine man, I'll say this time, do his thing. Gets past the stupid Dion, turns on him, gives it to Frankie Dion with the shot blocked. Okay, now the ball is out for a Barcelona throw in. Firpo, Fati, Suarez, Messi, Suarez. Come on, no! Now, Ricky Puig. Artur, Luis Suarez, Frankie De Jong. Oh no! It's the goalkeeper's ball. Luis Felipe. We're gonna settle for a draw, and we have dropped points massively here against Osasuna. That should have been an easy win, but we struggled to create chances. Wait, did I? Did I do my post mass interview last time? I don't think so. I'll do it this time. I must have forgotten. Who needed the win here? Tacosa has put on a great performance as on his first match as Barcelona player. What do you make of such a strong debut? It's clear to see why I bought him. What more could I ask for? He's eager to play and has shown that today. I think it's clear to see why I bought him. At halftime, did you expect to get a draw? I expected a win. Uh, we switched off after getting level. Oh, that's not good. Most fans expected a victory today as Barcelona is perceived as the better team. However, you only delivered a draw. What do you comment on this? I don't believe in labels such as better or worse. All the questions. And we pretty much don't. Okay. Okay, we're going to. Switch this up. Elena, first of all, we need midfield quality. I want Frankie Dion has to start over Elena. That midfield trio has to stay there. That's the same. Um, do I have any more plans for this window? No is the answer, by the way. But for January, I desperately want to bring back Neymar. I really do. Next January, you'll see. January, I'm making a promise to all of you. Neymar will return and we will create MSN. So for now, I'm going to save my budget up for that. We have spent $238 million on Gomez, Luis Felipe, Navri, Pavard, and Stracoso, we got a profit of two hundred and nineteen million three hundred thousand from the sale of Neto Rakitic and PT Roberto Dembele. Let's just wrap up the transfer window, and then we will do episode three next. After this, later. Wait, hold on. Is yeah, this is my formation. Next game in the next episode, we will have. Our first Champions League game and a tough game at the new camp against Valencia. And we will travel to Germany to play Dortmund. I feel like putting Abe at thing, Leganes will be good. Because Leganes doesn't have many good players. And they're fighting relegation right now. So I'm pretty sure he'll get playing time. The only player I can see challenging for his spot is Brian Heal, who is amazing. Amazing. Is that right? I said amazing. Because he is. One hour left. And an offer for Inyaki Pena, which I... Oh, they activated the release clause. That's why. Um, I don't know. Naki Pena has so much of a future. We need a third tier keeper. You can't. A third tier keeper is mandatory. Do we have anybody else as a third tier keeper? No, we do not. 
So I'm for now going to reject that offer. He can stay here so he can get game time. Because I've happened once where both goalkeepers are injured and it's over. Like, I have to play like Junior Fairbone goal on my career mode. And there you go, the transfer window. Oh, and a monthly update for the youth squad. Hmm, nobody's getting promoted just yet. But Lars Sullivan, in a few years' time, I'm, oops, sorry, in a few years' time, I wanted, to, I was looking at goalkeepers as some good priorities for the youth squad, because in case, like, Pena wants to move away, we could. Let's do the training session one last time before we finish the episode off. And okay, we're doing pretty well, all the players. Okay, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel and write some comments so I can check them out. Thank you.